So the CANDA trial is a very important phase three trial, which we will see here for the first time at the late breaking session at ASH. And this uh, compared in a randomized manner uh, treatment um, combination with daratumumab as the anti-CD38 antibody in combination with carfilzomib as the proteasome inhibitor and dexamethasone versus carfilzomib and dexamethasone alone. And um, more than 450 patients contributed to this trial, which was conducted all over the world. And they were two to one randomized um, for daratumumab, KD or KD alone. And uh, the trial now shows that the combination of daratumumab with carfilzomib and dexamethasone is highly superior to carfilzomib dexamethasone alone. Um, and uh, the primary endpoint of the trial was the progression-free survival. This was not reached for the daratumumab carfilzomib arm and was like close to 16 months for the conventional carfilzomib dex arm, so in the expected manner. And so that we can say the, the trial set a new standard of care um, with this uh, triplet of daratumumab, carfilzomib, and dexamethasone. This trial has a huge implication for all of our patients in Europe. Uh, there is a clear trend towards um, using lenalidomide in first-line treatment, um, independent if patients undergo a transplant, uh, where patients receive standard, for example, lenalidomide maintenance after transplant, also for patients not undergoing a, a transplant where lenalidomide dexamethasone, um, VRD, uh, and also now just recently daratumumab lendex is approved. And so we generate more and more patients who are then refractory to lenalidomide when they go to second line treatment or to third line treatment. And for those patients, the daratumumab, carfilzomib, dexamethasone, a combination is then a major and very important treatment option. So I think this will very rapidly translate in a standard of care. I, the quality of life assessment will be published separately. What we currently know is that the quality of life was kept, or, although the patients in the DERA arm had a triplet. The carfilzomib regimen is always a bit a challenge with the twice-weekly application, and in Europe, in contrast to the US, we have no approval currently for the once-weekly application. However, there's a huge interest to make it easier for patients, so we are working all together to also um, establish regimens where uh, the daratumumab carfilzomib combination can be given once weekly for carfilzomib. Currently, we have uh, the choice in relapse. We have many approved drugs and many approved drug combinations. However, we generate patients in different situations. Patients receive different regimens in first line. So we look what patients had, how long they responded, how they tolerated it. We have to look on patient's age. We have to consider the distance to the next center. We have con to consider the different availabilities of regimens all across Europe um, with the approval of the a competent authority in Europe, it doesn't mean necessarily that the negotiations are all made in the different countries. We have to consider potential toxicities. We have to consider the comorbidities of our patients. So it's a patient individual decision. And the um, opinion of the patient is of high relevance. What is the goal the patient wants to achieve with this disease, what's his surrounding, what does the family think, um, what's his role in the world. So we have to discuss that together and those um, different opportunities give us 
and the opportunity to make a good decision for each individual patient, hopefully. For the Daratumumab KD, I'm very confident that we have a rapid approval, and then it depends again on the negotiation procedures in the individual countries, but um, we will do as the treating physicians in those um, trials, we will do our very best to uh, support the rapid access, because I think this is a real important uh, treatment combination which should be offered soon to everyone.